Hey guys, today I am in Belmont, Mississippi at Wiggins. Let's see if we can see the sign. Wiggins and Joe's. It is an amazing antique store. I'm excited to go in and check it out, y'all. Ari spotted this from a mile away. Look at this giant crusty brush. Look at my hand. <gasps> I've never seen one so big. We might need this. Look at this thing. That is so cool. Oh, look at this container that it's in. That is beautiful as well. They got so much good stuff here. Look at these terracotta planters right here. Almost anything you can imagine is here. Wait, I found something. While I was looking around, I want to show y'all. Look, they even have a prosthetic leg right there. They have this huge old window. I actually bought one of these and it never got delivered to my house. Still hasn't, it's been like two years, so I don't think it will. But I put, I was planning on putting it over my sofa in the living room, but I put something else there, so not a big deal. All right, this is what is out here. Y'all know we love a store when the outside looks like this. Let's go in and see what they have. And this is the inside. So the insides, a little bit more organized. Looks like they have clothing, tons of books, and lots of antiques. Here's some brass right here. Looks like a little road runner. Cute little brass teapot. Some little swans. I think they're candle holders. They also have whole display of uranium glass right here what about these clowns do y'all like these guys look at their little hand painted faces and their colored hair I think these are kind of cute look at this gorgeous piece of furniture right here I love how the pools are the same wood and color as the rest Ooh, they open really good too Look what I just found. A whole bag of vintage leather baby shoes. Oh look, the little toesies hang out of this one. So cute. It already looks like it has Dixie Belle's gray grunge on it. These are absolutely perfect. All they need is a little bird's nest, a little Christmas tree. Oh, this one's cute. Another one where the little toesies stick out. And I love the little buckle on it. I spy a hanging basket. This one is beautiful. Definitely need this. Look at this collection of china. It is absolutely gorgeous. Love these plates. I don't know if y'all can see it, but there's a ton of crazy on here. Look at that. I'm in love. What are these? Oh, what's that word? I can't say. Staffordshire. <laughs> England. These are beautiful. Look at the teapot. I do not have a teapot yet. That is beautiful. I wonder what the price is. Let's see. This one's $9.99 for this little dish. Right here. I'm not sure about the rest of the collection. They also have lots of pink glass, which I absolutely love for spring. This piece is cute. It's kind of egg shaped. I actually really love this. Oh look, some swirl pink glass right here. Some little teacups. Oh, I like this yellow one right here. It's odor, it also has some crazing. It's very pretty. $9.99 for this piece. Some blue and white pottery. Y'all know I've been loving this. Oh, look at all this seashell pottery. Oh, I love this piece back here. That's really pretty. Oh, wow, y'all. Look at these brass pools. These are so heavy and good quality. Oh, I really like these that are a mix of brass and porcelain. And if you like the aged brass like me, 
you can actually buy something I think it's on Amazon to age your brass these are really pretty I like those and I really like these three dollars each for some nice heavy brass knobs that is a good deal oh here's some right here these would be cute just as decor it's a bunch of pie covers Lots of colored glass. They have green, red, also lots of beautiful milk glass. I love this little oil lamp right here. Brass and milk glass. Oh, this is cute. No markings, but this is very heavy. I love these, but they are impossible to ship. <coughs> Some amber colored glass. Look at this wood frame. This would be absolutely gorgeous with a mirror in it. That's the back. So the back is pretty simple. Straight lines. Be easy to get a mirror cut for this piece. I'm in love with this duck bookend. It feels like chalkware. It is very heavy. I wonder if it has a back. Look at all the, the books. I don't see the other side, but it doesn't matter. I love bookends, even if they just have one piece. Wait, I see something down here. Oh, I think it's just another one. Or you know what, maybe they go like that. So this is one side. That is the other definitely need these look what I found an entire box of piano rolls these are beautiful they're the nice worn color that I love oh look at this TV right here and then more books y'all so many books I have not even looked at all of them yet look at this painting right here Oh wow, look at these light fixtures. That's a light fixture and that is a lamp. Those would be amazing. I'm thinking at a coastal beach house. They're ceramic. These are beautiful. I am very into this. I feel like I need a coastal house just so I can decorate. Is this a bone? I don't think it's real. I don't know it might be we found a we found a leg this bone could be real all right y'all want to see what is in the back room this is it should we dig through this I've been told it's okay I'm not back here without permission so I already see some cool stuff there's a bunch of brass bases over there that'd be great to just stick a Christmas tree in Let's see what this is over here. Scooch, scooch around. So these are pencils. Maybe they were table legs for kids' tables. That's really cool. These all look the same. They are big like spindles that might be for a lamp or something. They're a little bit long for me to ship, but these are smaller. They have holes in them, so it was probably for a lamp, but this would make a great um, candlestick or a vase. You can even cut it up. These are great. What are these? Oh, Look at this chunkiness. This would look amazing with some milk paint on it. And I would just maybe leave it like this. It is the perfect size for a riser. You could put a half sphere on there. You could put a figurine. See, they have these little ones down here that are cute. And look, it already has a line to cut it in half if you want it to. It has a perfect straight line. Wow, y'all look. Come back. There's more over here. Look at this. It's like turned. And there's a whole entire box of them, a crate of them. 
Here's some more of those little ones right here. And I don't know. I think this is as far as I can get into this room. It's a bunch of radios and who knows what back there. Unfortunately, I did not see any more of these chunky round ones, but I did find this oval one. All right, I just pulled this one out of a pile. That one's really cool. And we pulled out the swirl ones. Oh my gosh, y'all. Look how beautiful this is. I'm going to get a few of these. They're absolutely amazing. And you can leave this dark wood. You could strip this. That would be pretty. Or you could paint it as well. I just found a whole box of these, y'all. I have so many ideas for these. Y'all leave a comment below and let me know what y'all ideas are. These will definitely be in my next vintage drop. I don't know how many's in here, but I'll get a lot for y'all. All right, I'm in another back room over here. Looks like they have lots of Avon still in the boxes. They have some tall heads. That one's kind of cute, little baby head. Looks like some false graph pottery pieces here. It's a little bit of everything. Some glassware over there. Lots of baskets. I've seen tons of baskets. There's an old quilt. Look at these. These are lampshades. But they're all rusted over. That would be cute with a plant in it or as a laundry basket. You can make a little, you know, little thing to put in there. A little fabric thing. Look at these baskets. Oh my gosh, that one's ginormous. Looks like a big basket scoop. Look at all the fabric. They have rolls and rolls and rolls of fabric. Lots of VHS players. Oh man, look at all this lace have spools and spools of lace. Y'all let me know if y'all are interested in this. There's a ton of it. Looks like glass in here. Some little glass canning jars. Y'all, check out this clock that is also a bird cage. It's absolutely amazing. This is metal and it's a little bit rusty. The rest of it is all wood. And wait, look at the price. $50 for this piece, y'all. Somebody come get this. Well, guys, I loaded up my truck today and I did get the giant crusty brush. No way I could leave this behind. I'm probably keeping it for myself. Like how could I sell this and then I need to make something to put in it that says Julie's designs and signs I don't know if you got some ideas let me know I'm probably gonna remove the um this piece and just turn that upside down that's my plan um so I did get a lot I mean my truck is full but I got lots of multiples of stuff like lots of piano rolls lots of spools lots of spindles i got a bunch of music sheet that i'm gonna put together and wrap in some lace and some greenery i got a ton of these and some other stuff over there i can't reach i think that is the leather baby shoes right there so what i decided to do is just go ahead and list all this stuff on the website right now so if you're watching this video head to juliesdesignsandsigns.com and you can purchase these goodies right now. And if you're ever in Belmont, Mississippi, definitely check out Wigington and Joe's. What is in here? Oh yeah, this cute little milk glass piece. So I hope y'all enjoyed this thrifting adventure. I went shopping, now y'all head to the website and go shopping and I will see y'all in the next one.